time I had gotten out of the car, as they were getting up, and all of us still had him from behind, and I grabbed him around the neck, facing him. Uh, I looked down, and he was holding the pistol between my belly and his, and he, before I had a chance to tell Lieutenant Oliver he had a gun, he shot it, and it went through my arm. When it did, it knocked me backwards. I uh, fell on the ground. Uh, several shots. He fired one more shot toward me, and apparently went over me. It missed me anyway. Uh, and then, like I say, as I was falling and laying there, I heard just a bunch of shots went off. Several shots were fired. Uh, I didn't see what happened because I was falling or laying down at the time. Uh, when I did get up, I saw him running and went over a fence. Um, it, it happened in a matter of probably 10, 15 seconds. It was all over. Well, you were struggling with um, Mr. Workman and, and um, Lieutenant Oliver. Did you have an occasion to get your gun out? No, sir. My gun never left the holster. Okay. Uh, do you know where your gun was, was recovered uh, by the uh, crime scene office? I, I don't recall. Okay. Uh, possibly at the hospital. I'm not sure. Okay. But you never got your gun out of your holster? No, sir. Was it, there, was, was it shaved the grip off. It shaved the grip down flat where I slid on the pavement. Okay. Just describe that to uh, Mr. Wilson, please. Uh, the neural work on the design on the side of the grip where I slid on the pavement where I fell, it, it shaved it down flat where I slid across the black top. At any time uh, while you were at the scene, did you fire a shot with your pistol? No, sir. And after uh, you were shot, uh, were you transported to the hospital? Yes, sir, I was. Did you see uh, uh, Officer Parker arrive on the scene? He, he arrived on the scene the same time I did. He stopped on the south side of the building. Uh, I went around and stopped on the north side. and. I didn't see him again until it it was all over. Uh, he came and checked on me after I'd been shot. Okay. I think that's all the questions I have of Mr. Starr, if, if you have any questions. No. Thank you, Chad. Sir. Sure. We'll call uh, Steve Parker, please. Can I ask you to introduce yourself to the to Mr. Wilson, please? Uh, I'm Stephen C. Parker. And spell your last name for the court report, please. Uh, last name P-A-R-K-E-R. -E and uh, Mr. Parker, by whom are you employed at this time? I'm employed by the United States Attorney's Office for the Department of Justice in West Tennessee. And in what capacity do you work for the uh, U.S. Attorney? I'm an assistant United States Attorney. And how long have you been with the United States Attorney's Office? Uh, Fifteen years. Ten years. Prior to your employment with the Department of Justice, uh, where were you employed? the Memphis Police Department. And how long were you with the Memphis Police Department? Almost seven years. And during the time you were with the Memphis Police Department, what was your assignment? I had several assignments. My rank was patrolman. I did, uh, I was in uniform patrol, I was at the police academy, I was on the vice squad, um, and I think research and development for a while. Okay. When you were in uniform patrol, what part of the city were you assigned? Um, pretty much all over the city, but at the t time period this happened, I was assigned to the North Precinct C-Shift from 4 to midnight. Okay. And when you said when this happened, you're talking about uh, August the 5th, 1981. Right. Did you have an occasion to go to uh, the Wendy's on Thomas Street uh, on August the 5th, 1981? Yes, sir, I did. And um, do you recall that what time you uh, made the scene at Wendy's? It was just a little after 10.30. And why did you go to the Wendy's? I received an armed robbery uh, hold-up alarm call. Uh, I was returning from downtown from transporting a prisoner, and I was at the intersection of Thomas and Firestone when the call came out.